Well, that last night was uh, very complicated, so windy, but I needed to try three new things. And the first one was to do... <coughs> and the first one was to do a third of a tube. So I plucked two thirds of the tube using um, another tube, another uh, a black tube on top of it. And I really like the effect. Unfortunately, I could not film it today, like uh, it was yeah. too uh, complicated. So I don't have any videos, but I have those those pictures. So that's the first one that I did. <laughs> driving in, <laughs> driving on the salt flats. <laughs> that's a that's a bit dangerous, uh, but uh, this place is safe. I did not cross the uh, the ocean at the beginning, <laughs> but. <sighs> Kim is holding the camera, I'm driving, and Vladimir is... Hola! <laughs> bit more tricky that's a visual boy something that is made in Republic Czech by some uh, very talented people I've been working with them for a while and got many of those this is the small small version this is the small one this is the small <laughs> visual boy version 4 uh, it's, it's very handful for me can put any graphic that I'm creating in Photoshop inside of this so that was my second new thing for that night and um, I simply put some lines or like random um, abstract stuff and I put the whole thing on top of the tube kind of I was using like two of those handles holding the tube and this thing and the poi was above the tube so it was very heavy but quite interesting it didn't work really well the first night because my, my graphic was a bit too small. You can still see a little bit of the, the cool lines that I, that I created. But I tried again the night after. I added some bigger graphics and then it's starting to make more sense. Uh, I, th I think you can, you can see all the possibilities that this can bring, like all the things you can put either on top or you can overlap with the tube to create some different patterns. What I like about it is that you add a little bit of high tech with the low tech of the tube and it doesn't look too much like computer graphics if you don't go too far with it, if you use the small one. Did I forget something? Quick, my battery is dying. Oh, well, you showed your setup? <laughs> yep. You your setup? Well, not the whole thing, but show this okay. and this. Uh, I cannot go bigger than this because for my circles, it's this is even a bit too long. I'm, I'm having a hard time doing a circle around Kim using this and the tube together. But it's just the beginning of something bigger. Rewind. On va pas le lancer. Non 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 non. Fais pas ça. Please sketch it. No, I'm gonna drop it. I know I'm gonna drop it. I'm really bad at this. Please sketch it. No, I'm not gonna do it. I'm telling you, I'm not gonna catch it. No, you have to. No, I don't want to have this on my conscience. I want to make it rewind. Well, throw a cushion or something. And the third one is two tubes together. So what I did is, is I taped two T8 together, one orange, one yellow, and when I'm doing the movement, I'm kind of changing the color. Zoom, 
zoom. <laughs> it's working. I think I need a lot of practice to, to do this. And of course, to find the right colors. It didn't match really well using those. But I like the, the idea of being able to change color like on the fly without using LED strip or any like electronic components. It's just like pure tubes. Pure tubes. Oops. They know what we're doing. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Zoom. <laughs>